Greetings and welcome to, welcome what? Welcome to another video moment. Here we are in the Practical Press Pictures recording studio and you'll notice behind me that we have the lovely draperies or wall hangings for the lonely Washington, D.C. apartment of Ambrose Gwinnett Bierce. These were put in yesterday and they cover the um, wall behind me, of course, but also the wall to the side of me. And I'm actually sitting very close to the to this wall. Let's see. There. I'm touching the drapery now. So I'm only... I'm about this far from the drapery. Uh -huh. There. And so uh, we now are ready to, we can start filming the, uh, the, the A camera angles for Almighty God Beers because we won't have to have the other accoutrements in the picture. Just have to have a chair to sit in, not this one. Actually, as we get going, I'm going to move this into the living room, hopefully. This recliner into the living room. And then uh, right here, right next to me, my current plan. Originally, I was going to have a writing desk right about here. And then uh, a wooden chair to sit in right next to it. A writing desk. And then a... Uh, a sideboard back here and a Spanish couch, Persian couch, and a Persian couch couch on the on the back wall. But as I said, we can start right now with just a, an ordinary wooden chair and the existing uh, and everything else like it is. And then the plan, now this is the plan to start filming. I'll use the HV40 camcorder with the wide angle with the wide angle converter lens on it. And this will, to give it a shorter focal length, and this will uh, not be necessary with the A camera shots, that is the, the head shot, the close-up shots, or the head, the head shots. But I thought I'd try to use the same lens for both ones. The wide angle lens is very necessary when we do the the B camera shots, which uh, allow Ambrose to stand up and wander around the limited stage. So I have uh, today. I have uh, I have at the moment I have the four overhead lights on and one light up in the corner of the room over to the right and high white lights all white lights and i have the draperies closed at least the main ones where the light was coming in if i hold my glasses up i think you can see the other window but it isn't uh there's not much light coming in there on the, on the uh, screen here, it looks rather ra okay. And this is the EyeSight camera recording into its new event, of course, which is on the attached LaC hard drive. The one terabyte hard drive is recording the, uh, the new event. But it's also then the, the, uh, the external hard drive is connected to the MacBook through a 400 FireWire cable and the MacBook is running Final Cut Pro. So I'll probably do another one today because the uh, HV40 gives a much better image. The HV20 is kind of shot. The HV40, which I'm going to use for my filming now, is uh, gives a much better 
picture than the eyesight camera. So I'll, uh, I'll pro I might do another one today after I proofread my latest essay to send into the MOOC course I'm taking on uh, the modern and the postmodern. <laughs> so I was going to do a little roll around here. I was going to put the, the camera in my lap and do a little roll around here, but I'll give you a further explication of the of the setting here as we go on. I'm, I'm thinking of one change. I think the next step, instead of a writing table and a wooden chair and a sideboard, I think I'll put in right here, right there, about there, right there, the, the sideboard would have gone about right there. But right there, I'm going to put in a writing desk. The kind that folds out, an old-fashioned one that it would look appropriate for 1913. And then that would replace both the writing table and the sideboard. And then get a chair. Maybe even an old wooden desk chair, you know or some wooden chair. So that's, I. but I can go ahead and do all the uh, A-camera stuff before that. So probably around the first of the year, I'll get the desk and the chair in, try that out. And then I can start doing the the B thing, the B B camera stuff, and then decide whether I have room for or would like to have uh, would like to have uh, the the Persian couch. See, like right now, there I'm uh, <laughs> the back of the recliner is just about a foot from the curtain, so that I don't know where I'd put it. But I'll be moving up to about I'll be moving about three feet ahead. So that, uh, so maybe I could. So, but anyway, we'll let that, that's all. So the, the, the next step is to go ahead and start filming the A camera rolls with the HV40. And then um, put in the, the desk and the chair and film the B roll stuff. And then decide whether or not we want to add a, a Persian couch, but we could probably let the Persian couch go until we get ready to do the final one. So be, at that time, after doing the B-roll stuff, then I will have to contact Ed Scott and get permission to use his script in a movie, because I don't think I have to, I, I should go ahead and get a Spanish couch and rent the camera the C100, the profesh, Canon C100 professional uh, video camera to uh, record the final, the final product. So, that's the plan, and I mainly wanted to share with you, although I'm doing it with the eyesight camera, I wanted to share with you the, uh, the new draperies. So there they are. There you have it. Another video moment is on the external hard drive.